Alright, before I kick this video off, I want to show y'all the type of razor I use and how to hold the razor, how to load it, unload it. So, right here, I, this is a Turkish razor. I got a two-pack on Amazon by Sadef. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but y'all see how it's spelled. Uh, it's made in Turkey. The reason I like this razor because how thin it is, how easy it is to control and maneuver. So, I have a big hand, as you can see. So I hold my razor a way that's comfortable for me, and that's the same way you should do it. It's a hundred ways to hold the razor. I typically hold my razor with my thumb pressed against the side facing me, my index finger on the opposite side pressing towards me, and that way I got stability that the razor is not going to slip out of my hand. You can also hold the razor with your thumb right in this groove where the razor starts to curve back at and have your index finger over the top. You know what I'm saying? You can press. It's completely up to you. You can also fold this all the way back and put your index finger on the top and put your thumb in that same area. It's a million different ways to hold this razor. You know what I'm saying? So find a way that fits you and have and makes you comfortable. You can also have three fingers on this side, but my hand is too big for that, but it's whatever makes it comfortable for you to use a razor. A lot of people are scared of using a razor blade and that's understandable, but a razor blade is not gonna cut someone if you're not trying to. If you're doing everything you need to do to not cut someone, you will not cut anyone. So the typical reason, main reasons people cut people while they're using a razor is because when they holding a razor against somebody's skin and they try to move to the next section and they slide the razor on the skin. A way to avoid this is by picking the razor up as you move section to section. Never slide the razor across the skin. That's gonna be a cut all day. And another reason is because like when people have acne or raised skin, where the skin comes up a little higher, or a bone is protruding, that's another way you cut people. If you don't avoid those areas, just using the corner of the, or the top corner of the blade or the back corner of the blade, trying to put this whole razor blade in a certain area where there's acne or raised skin or protruding bone, the way you get around that is by using the corner of your blade. So try to avoid any areas that will give you trouble like that by just using the corners of the blade. Gotta use them corners, man. Alright, another tip for using a razor to avoid cutting people is whatever hand dominant you are, whatever hand the, that's holding the razor, the opposite hand should be stretching the skin in the opposite direction. So if I'm shaving this way with my opposite hand, I'm going to be pulling the skin away and shaving this way. So the way you stretch the skin is basically by taking your hand and stretching the skin. It's simple as that. Stretching the skin. That's uh, the number one way to avoid cutting people is by stretching the skin, pulling it in the opposite direction of the way you're going with the razor blade. So take, remember to take your opposite hand and stretch the skin in the opposite direction of you going with the razor blade. Another note to keep handy when using a razor is to be at 30 degrees when using a razor. So as we know, or as we were taught in school, this is 90 degrees. Go down half of that, that's 45 degrees. Go down a little more, you're at 30 degrees. So when you're shaving a person, you should always be at this 30 degree angle. Now we down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna show you how to load and unload this specific type of razor. There's a hundred different types of razors as well, but the way to load and unload this razor Basically, taking the blade out the pack. Make sure you're being careful not to cut yourself. But how to load this Turkish razor is by basically sliding this razor right into this opening. 
when you first get it, it's gonna be kind of tough, but the more you use it, it'll loosen up a little more each time you use it. But you wanna push it all the way in to where you still have this, this bottom lip still hanging out. And to get rid of that, you press it against a hard surface. You break that little piece off. You can see that piece just broke off and to push the razor the rest of the way in you just press it up against the hard surface again and you can decide how exposed you want your razor to be if you want less exposure of the razor blade all you have to do is take your uh, fade brush and press it down all the way in until it's completely seated into that razor blade or razor blade holder. But that's how you load it and the way you unload it is basically the opposite way you find your hard surface or you can even use your uh, brush. And what you wanna do is stick your brush right there into that groove, being careful and push that blade out. Then you dump it in your sharps container. For this tutorial, I wanna show y'all that like when it comes to the curve of the beard, our beard naturally curves. So when it comes to uh, doing it with the razor, all you have to do is stretch the skin to where that line is straight and just use your razor to make that line straight. And when you drop the skin back in place, It'll have a natural curve to it. Now y'all can just sit back and watch me apply all the techniques I just taught you guys. Right here I'm using short strokes, staying in one area at a time. And I'm moving section to section using short strokes. Making sure I'm stretching the skin with my opposite hand. And applying every technique, holding the razor, make sure it's secure in your hand. Also keeping it at that 30 degree angle. Also making sure you picking up the razor every time you move from one section to the next. And I forgot to add that it takes little to no pressure at all from the razor to actually cut the hair. You know what I'm saying? That razor blade is sharp. And all it takes is little to no pressure at all to get that line up nice and crispy. And you gotta come back around for that double tap, you know what I'm saying? Come back around for a second time to get that line up nice and crispy. Define your work, you know what I'm saying? Make sure your client leave it out clean, crispy clean. You're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side. Make sure you go through, set your initial line in, and come back through with that double tap using all the techniques I have taught you guys. Using the razor is easy, man. It's so hard to cut somebody. You gotta be trying to cut somebody if you cut somebody. You know what I'm saying? Remember to analyze the skin, you know what I'm saying? Make sure ain't no acne or no raised skin, no bumps or anything. Put that razor to work. Hopefully y'all gained a lot of knowledge from watching this tutorial. Y'all stay blessed. Remember, man, razor work is easy. Don't overthink it. Right, we'll blend it. I'm out.